Hi, I'm Jim Felton. It's my wife, Susan, our daughter, Quincy, and our other daughter, Sydney. Welcome you to Felton Angus Ranch in Springdale, Montana. Yeah, Felton Angus Ranch, we're a family owned and operated uh, seed stock business here in the state of Montana. We have a ranch at Springdale, Montana, where we're currently at and where I live. And then we also have a ranch uh, about 60 miles south of Mile City, Montana, where our cow herd is run. Um, we've been having bull sales since 1973, and this, so that'll make this year our 45th annual bull sale. Um, Felton Angus Ranch started with my grandpa Raymond. And then moved down to my dad Richard, and then I guess I'd be the third generation here at Felton Angus Ranch. The genetics here at Felton Angus Ranch, I think they're as good as anywhere you're going to find. They're a little different, you know. We don't, uh, we're not really in that sire of the month club. Um, uh, we kind of a lot of bloodline here are our own, you know, our own genetics that you're not going to find anywhere else. So an outcross deal. Um, you know, it gets to be sometimes where every sale book you get or catalog, I mean, it doesn't matter where you go because everybody's using the same thing. So it's like, well, I missed this sale, I can go to that sale because you're going to have the same bulls there. I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere. And uh, ours is different. Um, get a lot of guys here and say, man, your genetics are totally different. I can get something totally different here. And that's our goal. Hello and welcome to the American Rancher. This week we're headed north to visit longtime Superior Livestock customers and seed stock operation Felton Angus Ranch at Springdale, Montana. We'll visit with the Felton family and get a look at what the offering is in their upcoming auction. Year after year, Felton Angus Ranch continues to breed and send forth very reliable, growthy Angus cattle to ranching operations all across the nation. We'll see some good cattle on the show today and talk with stockmen that know these genetics from years of use. This Springdale, Montana area is a remote yet remarkably scenic part of our nation and it requires cattle that can get out and perform on tough ground. It's hardy Angus livestock and scenic big sky country on the show today. I'm Pam Minnick. We'll be back with the American Rancher in just a moment. Are you looking for powerful, athletic, high weaning weight bulls ready to go to work for you? At Felton Angus Ranch, we focus on one thing and one thing only, that's raising bulls. In fact, we have since 1952. We are family owned and operated. Our production sale is always the second Monday in February at our Springdale, Montana ranch. And we invite you to come see why we have a 95% repeat customer base. Visit us online at feltonangus.com. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Felton Angus Ranch steadily maintains an independent approach to raising cattle. The family began raising notable beef cattle in the early 1950s and has become established as an outcross bloodline program within Angus Circles. Richard and Jim Felton keep working their plan that has made their operation successful and has made the operations of many working cattlemen who purchase their genetics successful as well. Well, I think the qualities of a Felton Angus Ranch bull, probably the main thing is, is our soundness. Um, they're structurally correct. They've got exceptionally hard feet. Uh, they get, they run out in the big country all summer, um, just developing and growing and, and uh, you know, they don't have their head in the feed bucket all summer. So, so we like to make them sound and hardy. 
They've got to be structurally correct. Uh, they've got to walk out and travel correct. Um, and they just basically got to go out and get to work for people. And I think that we've got a reputation of probably probably some of the stoutest and, and hardiest and, and toughest bulls around. Um, you know, here at Felton Angus Ranch, we like to view the cattle or the herd bulls that we would buy and bring in the herd. We look at them first. And in our mind, there's too much emphasis put on uh, EPDs, uh, genomics, uh, you know, the dollar, dollar symbols. Um, because if you, if you just pay attention to that and you don't use your eyes and look at cattle and evaluate them first, you don't notice structural incorrectness, bad feet, short coupledness, uh, sway back. Uh, you don't notice that. And here, we want to evaluate the cattle first, then we look at numbers. But I can tell you, I wouldn't buy the, best, I wouldn't buy the Angus bull with the highest dollar beef value in the country if he wasn't what we were looking for when we look at and evaluate cattle. I mean, and when you put that much, when you only pay attention to that kind of information instead of visual evaluation, that leaves you open to having all kinds of issues. And let's face it, we do have some structural, we got structural issues in Angus breed due to the fact that nobody, nobody goes out, walks around the pen, evaluates the bulls, and then looks at the numbers. It's all about the numbers and papers. And so here at Felton Angus Ranch, we want a real world cow or bull that gets out and gets it done. And we could really care less about the paper cattle that people are trying to sell. We sell some uh, commercial bred heifers every year at a bull sale. Um, they're out of registered cows. We just don't paper them and so we sell them as commercials. But our replacements are pulled right from that herd and obviously registered. But uh, we run them like you'd run them, a commercial cowman would run them. Um, they gotta get out, you know, this year part, you know, it was dry. They have to get out and rustle a living, um, up and down hills and, and, you know, we don't pamper them. Uh, you know, we're not out or having to pamper them and getting fancy pictures or anything. I mean, our cattle are run just like the commercial cow man. And uh, I think when our cattle get out in the real world, that's a reason why they excel in people's herds is because there's no fluff or anything around here. It's, it is what it is. And uh, we're proud of that. And we have been in, in for the last 45 years. What a Felton Angus bull can do for your herd is if you want to stretch your cattle out, you know, if you're tired of the suitcase cattle and you want to stretch them out, uh, if you're looking for some grow, real actual growth in cattle, not again, uh, number growth, but I mean actual grow, stretch, uh, structural correct, um, you know, good uttered cattle, uh, I think a Felton Angus bull would fit you to a T. New this year at Felton Angus Ranch is a product near and dear to us that we have worked on for years. Jim and I even talked about it when we were dating. It's our passion and it's finally come to fruition. We started shipping beef directly to the consumer this fall. So we're selling beef that we have raised here at the ranch. We know what the animal eats. In fact, we've grown most of the feed that we feed the cattle. It's resulting in a high quality product that is getting rave reviews. We dry age everything and we sell Montana ranch cut beef. They're not little bitty steaks. They're great big rancher cut steaks and they are the talk of the town. Knowing where your food comes from is my passion. It's how I shop, I read the labels, I wanna know where my food was born, what country it came from, where it was raised, how it was raised, and the ingredients that went into it. And we're taking that passion and conveying that into a beef program. I had a customer call me the other day and she had developed some food allergies. She wanted to know not just about the beef, but what the animal had eaten that we were selling as beef. And I was able to tell her, not only did we know what they ate, but we grew it all here at the ranch. 
We've used social media for our beef program, just like we have in our bull program. We're communicating directly to the consumer. We're showing them how we raise the animals. We're showing them how to prepare their steaks when they get them. And new is we've developed culinary partners. So we have big Instagram accounts that are also preparing felt Angus beef. So our, our customers have even more tips and recipes. We use social media to get to know our customers and our customers get to know us. They can see every aspect of the ranch. They see us out doing the work. They see me sh packing the beef and shipping it right to them. It arrives at their doorstep and then we're talking to them personally, making sure it arrived there the way we sent it. It's frozen, it's good quality, and we're getting feedback on that that's fantastic. We're a true family operation. We're out doing the work. We've got the kids involved. They help dad feed and they help mom sell beef. Find us at feltnagus.com and follow us on Facebook at Felt Angus Ranch and on Instagram at Felt Angus Beef. Come join us at the Felt Angus Ranch production sale, February 12th, 2018. We host people from all over the country here at the ranch. We'll take good care of you and make sure to feed you a prime rib lunch with all the fixings. Felt and Angus has always purposed their operation to be a source of genetics that ranchers can depend upon. They really aren't concerned with taking the headlines in the latest breeder circle journals. Those of you that have met them know what I mean. The focus is set on the commercial cowman and keeping him in business. Joining me now is Kirby Schnorr, host of Superior Sunrise, who knows the Feltons quite well. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Pam. Jim and Susan are great down-to-earth folks, and having a strong presence on social media is very important to them. So I'd like to say hello to all the customers, and to them, of course, from the Carolinas to Montana to California. You can always follow along their ranching journey when it's a beautiful, sunny morning, or when they're out feeding in negative temperatures. From Facebook to Instagram, they keep you up with ranch life and what it's like in their part of the world. Susie definitely has created a following not only for their ranch, but for the wonderful recipes she creates with the girls. Their branded beef program is quite impressive as well. We could all learn a thing or two in the kitchen from the Felton family. Thanks, Kirby. When we come back, we'll talk more with the Feltons and with their customers. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Many Felton Angus customers are long-standing repeat buyers, and the reason is simple. They get results. Felton Angus are cattle that are bred to sire calves that will put pounds on the ground. Here's more on our story. I think our success at Felton Angus Ranch here has been that we're, I don't know, we're a no BS operation. Um, we braid good, solid, functional cattle that go out and perform for the guys that buy them. Um, you know, we have 95% repeat buyer base. So in our opinion, the bulls must be working. And uh, I just think that people can come here, get a hard working, good, sound bull that matches the commercial man's budget. Uh, we bought a Felton bull oh, three years ago. We just admired his length, his, his structure, the amount of bone, just the overall growth that, come, that came with the bull. Jim and Rich are all great, you know, they're great guys to deal with, do anything for you. Always, always good to come back. We run a cow calf operation, about 70 head, uh, in central Wisconsin, about 30 miles north of Madison. And we started buying bulls here from Felton's in 2014. We got some, and we have four of them right now, and we're here to hopefully pick up a couple more today. Um, what we've seen with the Felton bulls is we're shipping our calves at 650, 700 pound weaning weights, um, 180, 200 days, and they're. Uh, we're shipping them about a month earlier and 100 pounds heavier than we were with bulls from back we were buying locally. And so uh, good healthy bulls, they run good and take care of the cows and our calving window is real tight. They get the job done and don't seem to miss the cows, you know, when it comes to it. So we've had really good luck with them. 
Jim will answer every question you got. If you have any, you call him, he'll answer or text you back, you text him. We talk pretty much, you know, as it gets closer to the sale, we talk uh, talk a lot more, you know, uh, throughout the year now and then, and uh, just uh, discuss cattle stuff. Um, he's been in cattle business a lot longer than we have, so I get some advice from him and then uh, what we should do and what we should look at for bulls. But it's hard to find a bad one here, and when you come out here to look at the bulls at the sale, uh, it's pretty, pretty overwhelming, the quality of bulls that are here and what you see. So there's definitely what you're looking for. I have been here over 10 years buying these bulls and I love them. I look for the length in these bulls. They're long. Most of these new people that are other breeders are got those little short squatty things and I like the length in these cattle. And that keeps me coming back. You know, I'd say these are good, good working bulls just like they're advertised. They're ready to go to work. They're not too fat. They're, they stand up good. We run out in some really rough country and, and they, they do well. Heard about Felton Angus. There's a couple guys back home that have been buying some semen from them. I've always been really impressed with the calves that were produced from what I saw the Felton bulls were doing and decided it's time for me to come out here and see what was going on out here at Felton Angus and like what I saw when I got here. So we decided it was time to buy a bull. I liked the thickness of the cattle. They weren't so much what I would call a concrete block calf. They were long, had a lot of depth of body to them, just wide across the top, deep bodied and long. What more could you ask for in cattle? Our operation, we run a herd of mama cows, some different farms back home. Uh, it's a predominantly Angus herd. You got some old Simmental bloodlines, some Hereford bloodlines, but we do like our Angus bulls. Um, we then take the calves that we wean and we background them and end up sending them out to a finishing yard to finish. So in the long run, looking for calves that come out good and easy, long and lean, hit the ground running basically and start gaining from day one. Um, like I said, we're start to finish, so cattle that grow is what we're after. Make plans for the Felton's 45th annual production sale that comes your way Monday, February 12th. The auction is brought to you by Superior Productions. The Feltons are great folks and they invite you to take a look into these Angus genetics as well as their impressive branded beef program. They continue to be the working class producer for the working class rancher and there is no denying that. We'd like to thank Felton Angus Ranch for a great show and the visit to their beautiful Montana operation. Jim and Susan invite you to friend them on Facebook or reach them by email, jim at feltonangus.com or give them a call at 406-932-6726. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for the entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. We've had a long-standing relationship with the American Rancher and Superior Livestock. For seven years now, we have done our show. It's taken us across the country. We go right into our customer's living room. We have 
Our customers can sit and look at videos of our bulls. They can bid from home. Some of them come here. They Sometimes they come to the sale. Sometimes we have relationships just through social media or on the phone, and sometimes they make us a stop on their summer vacation. But hand in hand with Superior Livestock and the American Rancher, it has improved our business in so many ways I can't even begin to tell you. It's our marketing has exploded. We have customers all over the country now. We've gotten to know those customers. We talk to them on the phone, through social media, and they come visit. So it's really improved and expanded Felt Angus Ranch here in Montana.